Hello lovely people, my name is Emma and today I'm talking to you about the book The Versions of Us by Laura Barnett. Now this is one of my 360 book reviews where I attempt to talk about a book for 360 seconds or less and give you a full 360 view of everything about it. So let's jump straight in. This is kind of a contemporary speculative romance if that's even a thing. It almost deserves to be in a genre of its own right because it is such a weird mashup of a whole bunch of different things going on. Uh, the cover describes it as one day meets slide doors and I really do think that's probably the best kind of a uh, description of it you could get but let's give a go of giving a better one shall we uh, so this follows the story of three people you have Eva Jim and David and there are um, it follows three separate timelines so in one timeline Eva and Jim meet they get together and then they go on and have a relationship in one of them they never really meet properly at all and in one of them they meet but Eva ends up going back to her current partner David they meet and uh, having a child with David they meet when they're quite young in university and it kind of continues on from there so this really is a character study of human relationships in general. I really am hesitant to call it a romance because in all three timelines, some things go really well for the couples and some things don't go so well. And what I really appreciated about this book was I mean this isn't really a spoiler as such but like the ending was very satisfying in the fact that there was no commentary on which timeline was the correct one all of them had had good points and bad points all of them had had ups and downs and they all came to a satisfying ending even if not it would even if it wasn't the happiest of endings that there might have been for the characters so it's not trying to make any commentary on like moments lost or the best thing you could do or regrets or anything it's just kind of talking about the way that people interact and the way that relationships develop over time and when you're dealing with a romantic relationship with somebody what it takes to make it last long term and the way that these things can can grow together and the way that people can grow together or grow apart dependent on the different situations and what you're willing to kind of give in that relationship so um like i said because of that it is very very character driven so if you're looking for a story with a hell of a lot of plot you are going to be sadly disappointed with this book so just do bear that in mind going in another thing i'd say is because you're working on three separate timelines where different things occur which mean that the characters develop in very different ways it can take a little while to kind of sink into it um, it was kind of a bit that, like honestly even at the 60% mark I wasn't 100% certain why I was continuing to read or what I was really getting from it because it did still feel quite slow paced and quite stagnant and I was like I don't really know why I care about any of these things and then the ending just kind of rushed up and hit me out of nowhere and I literally was like sobbing on the sofa I was just so emotionally invested in all these characters and I don't really know when it happened and I just kind of like lost it a little bit at the ending because it was just so beautiful and poignant and it just came out of nowhere it went from like nearly dnf to one of my favorite books of all time within the space of about 100 pages and i don't quite know how he did it but well done laura barnett that was incredible um so also i'd say for this one because of the fact that you're playing around with so many different timelines in there i would not necessarily recommend the audiobook for this unless you are somebody who can keep things like really really focused in their brain like if you can that's impressive but that was not me uh, i definitely had to skip to the beginning of chapters to just get a sense of whose timeline we were talking about and where we were within their lifetime to make sure that i got everything straight because once the characters start having children and all those children have different names you're talking about a character list that technically speaking is actually quite short but is also um, unbelievably long because all the kids have different names in the different universes and it's very confusing to which one did they have where and why and how and who's the mother-in-law now and it's just it's one that you do need to focus on to get everything nice and straight and I think it would be quite easy to get a little bit lost along the way and um, I do definitely describe this as a very sliding doors kind of concept um, which is the movie with Gwyneth Paltrow I don't know if you've seen it if you haven't go watch it it's very cool but one thing about that one is that one almost does make a commentary about like what is better in the long run which I didn't like whereas I really really enjoyed the fact that this one didn't um interestingly I also didn't like the book one day I found it really irritating because it was talking about missed opportunities and that's not what this book is doing so whilst I can see the comparisons of smashing those two together to come up with this book it's really important to remember that this one is not trying to make any judgments about what these people have done in their lives it's just kind of a, a window looking in and I really really appreciated it for that fact it's difficult to say who would enjoy this book in terms of other books that you might have read. Um, I think I think One Day is probably 
not the worst comparison in the world. I think if you tend to read a lot of contemporary, you might enjoy this. I think if you read a lot of speculative fiction, you might enjoy this. The multiverse timeline really does kind of lift it and um, kind of change it from that kind of standard contemporary into something quite quirky and fun and weird and I think if you enjoy things like maybe All My Friends Are Superheroes or some of those again like quirkier speculative fictions out there this is definitely going to be right up your alley potentially even if you're into like some of the like soft sci-fi out there this might really work for you and I think it might be a good entry level book for people who want to explore more contemporary titles but don't really know where to start if you're someone who tends to read more of the fantasy sci-fi aspect because there is just that twist that keeps it nice and fresh um but yeah I was really impressed with it and I probably will read more Laura Barner in the future so that's it that is the versions of us have a wonderful reading week and I will chat to you soon bye